Hey friends, it's Amy Dot the Keto Queen. It's Monday afternoon, I'm home, and I'm so excited to make up some new dinners tonight. We're making some crab salad for my husband's dinner, and my son is here with his girlfriend, and we're making some mahi-mahi. So, so many of you guys have asked me to please cook some fish. Do I ever cook fish? So, this week is it. <laughs> we're making fish, and hopefully this is gonna turn out delicious. My son loves mahi-mahi, so does his girlfriend. I do too, but you guys know I'm fasting. So I am in my 60 hour reboot for the month of August with our large community of provers that are doing the reboot. So this is the power of Keto Nat. I'm cooking for my family and I'm not eating. So let me mix this crab salad together really quick. This is gonna be a very fast video because I wanna visit, uh, but I know you guys have been looking forward to this. So I've got a half a cup of mayonnaise. We're making our crab salad first. So we got that half a cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna add a half a cup of celery. Now you wanna mince it up really good so it's chopped up really fine. So a half a cup of celery. We've got about a half a teaspoon of dill and I'm using fresh dill. So we're gonna just scoop that dill into our bowl. If you wanna use dry dill, you can do that as two. You just want about a half a teaspoon. We've got one shallot diced up and we'll throw it in. You guys know what that is, right? A little shallot, kinda of like an onion. We're gonna throw that in the bowl. Now we're gonna throw in our crab meat. Now tonight I'm making a crab salad with imitation crab meat. This is for my husband, it's more low carb. If I was cooking this for me, I would definitely use fresh crab. I would get it over in the produce, not produce, but in the meat section at the grocery store. So, so the imitation crab. crab. Fresh crab ain't good enough for Ricky. No, fresh crab's not good enough for Ricky. <laughs> That's a good question. No, I was doing this because my husband just sprung it on me this weekend that he wanted some crab salad. I was at Walmart and I saw the imitation crab and I'm like, ooh, I would never buy this for myself, but it's only for Ricky and Ricky's more low carb instead of keto. So they're all giving me laughs, Justin. Thank you, Justin, for embarrassing me. Yes, Ricky is not as special as I am. <laughs> He's not keto though, he's low carb. If he was keto, I would 100% would have made an extra trip. But if you look at the imitation crab on the package, let me turn this around real quick. On the package, it says this is for the whole package, but if you can read that, it says 13 total carbs, no fibers, all right, so that's 13 total carbs for this whole package, which is not very good. If you're low carb, it's perfectly fine, but if you're keto and you wanna try a crab salad, which if my husband tastes this and he loves it, I definitely will be cooking it again and I will make the special trip to get fresh crab. Fresh crab has no, no uh, sugar. All right, now we've got the crab. We've got uh, a half a cup of diced celery. We've got the one and a half teaspoon of dill. I'm using fresh dill. You can use dry dill if you want. We've got about a pound of the crab. All right, and now we're gonna add some paprika. So we wanna do um, a half teaspoon of paprika. Let's see my half teaspoon. I have been feeling great today in my fast, just so you guys know. We're doing a half teaspoon of paprika. And we're just gonna mix all this up and throw it in the refrigerator. My husband is on his way back from Vanderbilt. He had to pick up my brother-in-law, who praise God was released from the hospital today. He's doing so much better, thank goodness. All right, we're gonna do um, a fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. Fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. So this is gonna be in the refrigerator waiting on him to get home. He'll be excited to eat, I'm sure. So fourth teaspoon and a half of salt and pepper, a half teaspoon of paprika. This smells really good. And it doesn't hurt to put extra dill in there, which I think I'm going to. So I want to really good, be a, have a really good flavor for my husband. I really want to surprise him with this. So we're going to chop up a little bit more fresh dill. And we're fixing to make the spices for our mahi mahi. My son loves mahi mahi. I'm so glad he's coming over for dinner tonight. I love to cook for my family, even when I'm not eating myself. Uh, yes, I do an extended fast every month. I used to do it every month. It's been a while since I've done it. So this is like the second time this month that I did it just because I've got goals for this month. We're going on vacation. I want to get back in my pre-COVID shorts comfortably, not tight like they were this weekend. So I've got a little bit of work to do and I am doing it. All right. But Keto Nat is the most awesome supplement you guys know. And that's how I'm fasting so long today. That's all I've had is my Keto Nat. All right. So we're just going to mix this up. I'm going to go over these ingredients again with you in just a second. Um, it really looks like I got a lot of paprika, but it just added a half a teaspoon. I did a half a teaspoon, <laughs> but it's more red than green. It's more red than any kind of salad I've ever seen. 
Um, maybe I should add a little bit more mayonnaise, but I'm not. I'm going to follow the instructions because I've never cooked it before. So let's go over those ingredients one more time. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for my husband, and I hope he loves it. I really do hope he really likes it. I did cut it all up. All right. So I'm going to cover this up with some aluminum foil and stick it in the refrigerator for him. And let's move on to the mahi-mahi. So this looks really good. It is a crab salad. It smells really good with imitation crab. If you're keto, definitely recommend fresh crab, which if my husband loves this, I definitely will go back to the store and buy some fresh crab and eat this again on the day that I'm not fasting. <laughs> but imitation crab, so this is the ingredients. We use one pound of crab. We use one shallot, a half a cup of mayo, a half a cup of diced celery. We did a half a teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of dill, a fourth teaspoon of salt, fourth teaspoon of pepper, and how easy is that? So let me throw this in the fridge, I'll be right back. For this beautiful Mondi Mondi, my son just turned the grill on. We're gonna grill up some fish. This is my son's favorite dish when we go on vacation to the beach anywhere. He always buys Mondi Mondi, so I'm excited to try it out for him. We've got some great spices over here on the side. I'm fixing to move them over, because we're gonna make us a little spice to put over our Mondi Mondi. We're gonna start off with some oil. You want about three tablespoons of oil, and we're just gonna brush it across, because we definitely want all the spices to stick. So about three tablespoons of oil, that was good. I'm using avocado oil myself, all right? And I got this little bowl. We're gonna mix these spices up together. So where's my ingredients? Here it is. <laughs> so I have not done mahi-mahi on the grill before. So we have no idea if this is gonna be delicious, but all these seasonings together sounded fantastic. So let's see how it tastes. Uh, we're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna start with that, half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of salt. Guys, I didn't even tell you about the trout last night. It was really good. Uh, we really enjoyed it. The trout was delicious. And yes, it was trout. There were so many comments about it looking like salmon. It might look like salmon, but it was trout. <laughs> it was still a head trout. So a half teaspoon of uh, salt. We're gonna do a fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna try to keep these teaspoons together here so we don't get crazy. Fourth teaspoon of pepper. That's a lot of pepper. Let me throw some of that out. Actually, I don't want to throw it out. I'm going to put it right back in my salt shaker. I don't want to get too crazy hot. All right. And then we're going to do uh, one whole teaspoon of, and that sounds like a lot, but it says a whole teaspoon of paprika. Man, that's a big teaspoon, but that's what it says. A whole teaspoon of paprika. All right, we're going to do a half teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to run back over these again, of course, you know. we got salt, pepper, paprika so far. We've got garlic powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of onion powder. Half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder. All right. Then we got a pinch. It says a pinch of... Cayenne pepper, where'd it go? Here it is. It says a pinch of cayenne pepper. I don't know how big y'all's fingers are, but we're gonna do us a little pinch of cayenne pepper. I got a big pinch. I mean, I don't know how big a pinch is, so we're gonna do two little pinches. <laughs> all right, and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of oregano. I mean, all these things sound so good together, don't they? So, did I say half? No, one whole teaspoon of oregano. Lots of teaspoon. I'm sure this would be delicious for this fresh oregano, of course. All right, and a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin. All right, so let's use this little spoon and we're gonna stir this up. I'm gonna go over these spices again in just a second. We're gonna throw this on the grill. My son just turned it on. And I have a pellet grill, so it's kind of like a smoker grill. It's called a pellet grill, I love it. Uh, but I usually turn mine on about 325 uh, when I'm cooking something kind of slow. You can actually turn it down even lower than that. This only takes 15 minutes. If you don't have a grill or you don't want to start your grill, put it in the oven. You can put it on the oven, in the oven on 350, let it cook for about 15 minutes. Uh, your fish is done when you flake it with a fork. I mean, it's pretty easy and fast, which is one reason I love this thought of grilling my own fish. All right. 
So let's go over what is in this. Okay, we've got oil that we poured over. If you want to use a brush, you can brush it on. We had a half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder. And we had a pinch of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, and we're going to squeeze some lemon juice on there. So let's take our seasoning first. We stirred that up. Guys, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments. As soon as I'm finished with this, I'm going to see what questions you have. I'm not going to be on here long because my son is here to visit and I want to visit. So we may chat for just a second and then I'm going to um, answer your questions later. So I will come back in the comments and answer later. All right, this looks really good. Now this is said to mix this up for three um, pieces. Now I don't know if it's talking about huge pieces, so I don't want to go crazy overboard with this, but man, it looks good. It looks like a lot of seasoning already, so I feel like I need to stop. <laughs> I've never fixed this before. But it said for three, uh, yeah, I better stop. That's, that's plenty, I think that's probably plenty, because that looks like a lot of seasoning. All right, and now I'm gonna take my, my lemon. We're gonna cut the lemon and squeeze some lemon juice across. It says about two tablespoons. I don't wanna measure it. We're just gonna squeeze. Probably could have squeezed the lemon on first, but that's all right. And my son loves asparagus as well, so I'm making him a side dish of asparagus just like we had last night because he was supposed to come yesterday and we're gonna grill all this fish together. And then he had some plans because he's in a wedding, so they decided to come over today. So I'm cooking for them while I'm fasting. All right, I just cut a lemon and sprayed about half, squeezed about a half the lemon over. Mm, it looks really good. Let me wash my, clean my hands just a second. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this because that lemon knocks some off. It's probably way too much. I hope it's not way too much. <laughs> it looks really good. My son's gonna test it out for me. gonna test it out for me and tell me if it's delicious but gosh don't it look good don't it look delicious so we're just gonna seal this up and i'm gonna go throw it on the grill Ooh, i almost put my avocado on my stuff all right and we're just gonna fill it up like so and when i grill anything i wrap in aluminum foil i just lightly seal it i don't seal it up like it's a like it's closed i just seal it up lightly if i got enough if i have enough aluminum foil. Otherwise, I may just set it like this. So I'm gonna sit on the grill just like that. And we're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. So guys, how fast and easy is that? All right, let's walk out. I don't, actually, I don't know if I can take my stupid phone outside. I don't have great service outside. If you guys will give me just one fast second, I'm gonna run out there and throw this on the grill and come right back to see if you guys have any questions. We'll maybe be right back. Yeah, so real fast like let's see if you have any questions while my we're waiting on the grill i just set my timer for 15 minutes the asparagus is looking delicious we just put it in a pan with some avocado oil salt and pepper that's it we're just cooking it until it gets soft and we actually like ours a little crunchy so we cook ours a little bit until it starts to crunch around the edges all right real fast let's see if you guys have any important questions for me <sighs> let me breathe a second i am feeling great in my fast I don't know how many hours it is. Let's see, at 7.30, it's gonna be 24 hours, which is not that big a deal because a lot of people do 24 hour fast. I'm doing a complete reset, so I will hit 60 hours before I have any food. Now, yes, it is very safe. I'm drinking ketones, I'm drinking bone broth. I'm having all the things in our kit that will help me in this um, reboot. It's not something I necessarily recommend to every person. I love Keto Nat for every person. Everyone can drink ketones. Um, hey Sheila, how are you? 
Hey, Mandy's doing buffalo chicken zucchini boats. Yum. I hope you love them. Donna is 24 hour fast and had keto meatloaf and string beans. Yum. That sounds so good. You're doing great, Dolly. You just keep it up, girl. Uh, suck it up, buttercup, hubby. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, Gail, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, no, my brother-in-law did not have COVID. He's got some uh, Crohn's issues. He has Crohn's disease. Uh, Mary says her keto nat rocks, and yes, ma'am, it does. Carol received her keto nat today. She's going to start tomorrow. I'm so excited how much water is mixed with it. So, Carol, take 16 to 24 ounces of water, cold or ice cold. Uh, the more water, the less flavor. So, if it tastes sweet to you, add a little more. Uh, I usually start off with like a, uh, like a water bottle size, like 17 ounces, uh, and just mix that up with, I love ice cold water with mine. Just mix it in your shaker cup and go for it. Drink it within 30 minutes. Don't sip on it all day. Uh, but yes, you're going to love it, love it, love it. I'm so excited to keep me posted. Debbie says she loves my determination. I am determined, Debbie. I love the way I feel, and I just love, love, love this new life with all the energy I have. I love it. Will not ever go back. I'm four years in, so I'm not going backwards. Uh, Liz said she made it through 23 hours, first time ever, and she was hungry. <laughs> Liz, oh, I hate to hear that you were hungry, but that's okay. Eat. Eat when it's time to eat. When you're hungry, eat. Um, Sheila says, can you drink more than one night a day? Yes, you can. I have some friends that drink two. I drink one. Pamela says, so encouraging. I drink one most days. I'm not going to say I never drink two. I do drink two. Uh, just most days I drink one. I always recommend one. Hey, Chantel. Thank you for sharing. I hope you saw what I posted today. I'm so excited for my friends. Uh, Gail had baby back ribs and slaw. That sounds so good. Kaylin says she needs more nat. Well, I'll be coming to see you soon, Kaylin. If you love that flavor, I'll be glad to bring you some. Just tell me what, which, which ones you're going to mix up. Um, hey, Carol. How are you? She had chicken fried steak and gravy. Yum. That sounds amazing. Where do you get all your recipes? Pam, I get recipes from Pinterest. I get recipes from friends. I make up recipes, which is one thing I love to show you guys. Like I will think of some, I will take a recipe and then change it up and make my own recipes with it. So you can get ideas from my page and just have fun. That's what I like to do, just have fun. Yes, I am in a fish mode. Uh, I love fish. I've eaten fish. Well, I'm not eating today because I'm fasting, but I ate fish three days in a row. <laughs> I'm getting ready for the beach, so we're so excited to get there. I love crab legs. When you guys see me on vacation, you're going to be seeing fish and crab legs galore. I love them. Uh, Melissa had meatloaf muffins, yum, and ooh, leftover roasted cabbage. You guys know I love that. Uh, it says it's dolphin. Mahi mahi, yes, it is. It is dolphin. It's really good. I hate to say I'm eating dolphin, but I'm not eating tonight. I'm fasting. My son's eating dolphin. <laughs> y'all give him a y'all give him a hard time. <laughs> it is good though. Dolphin. It's a baby dolphin, is it not? No, oh my, my. I thought mahi mahi was a was a type of dolphin. No, it's not a dolphin. Justin it's says it's not. Related, what? It's related to a dolphin. It's related to the dolphin family. Justin says. It's not a dolphin. It's definitely not a baby dolphin. Well, <laughs> look how cute he is. Justin, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. You hush. He's nobody nothing. He's talking about my high school now. He graduated from the same high school. I love exactly. you, son. That's how I know. They messed up multiple generations. <laughs> multiple generations of South Side graduates in my house. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, you can. I love that response. Um, Melissa, you can pretty much make almost everything you love into keto. You really can. You just have to think through it. So if you have a recipe, guys, that you love and you'd love to cook it keto, send it to me. I'd like to look it over and say, hey, uh, maybe you should switch out this or, or, you, or here's an idea to make that same dish keto friendly. I would love to do that for you. Uh, we're doing mahi mahi, Linda. Teresa said, dinner looking great for sure they should call you grill queen yes i love to grill in the summertime i'll be outside all the time i love to grill uh let's see did a reading of my blood today and it was 0.03 that being should that be normal 0.03 says you're working towards ketosis and when did you check it was it like during the day after you've eaten and drinking things the best time to check your ketones if you guys are going to check is when you wake up before you eat or drink anything a true fasting ketone just like a fasting glucose 
is when you wake up in the morning with no food or drink in your body. That is your true fasting ketone level. Uh, you guys know I don't necessarily recommend that you check your ketones. You know you're in ketosis by the way you feel, the way you sleep, the way your cravings have gone down. Kay says she's cooked Mahi Mahi for the first time Saturday night. Wow, win-win. We loved it. And I love how you're seasoning this. So you'll have to tell me, uh, Kay, how you seasoned yours. I sure will, Tina. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. I will be posting this recipe actually with the plate at dinner because I don't have time. If I have time, I will put it up in the, in the comments, or not the comments, but in the post. But right now, I just want to visit my son and answer your questions real quick. I finally hit 25 pounds. It took me three months, Susan says. Uh, seeing my doctor Thursday, he better be happy. He will be happy, Susan. And 25 pounds in three months is great. I mean, that is amazing, amazing. So be proud. Not everyone's gonna hit 25 pounds in three months. That's a lot of weight in three months, Susan. So golly, Bill, I hope you're proud. Uh, guys, if you're looking at numbers, like, like Susan just shared an amazing number, don't compare yourself because we're all different. Measure, feel how, uh, take note of how you feel today and how you feel a month from now and how you feel a month from then because everything changes with low carb keto. Um, let's see, let's see. Yes, my little Yorkies are, they're running around the yard. They're running around the, the house tonight. Uh, Ricky's been working in the yard every day when I get home, so they usually are outside with him. All right, I'm almost done with these comments. I'm looking through, looking through. Uh, I would like to order the Nat. Debbie, I will send you Keto Nat information. I will definitely send everyone who's talking about Nat some information. If you want information on Keto Nat, put N-A-T, Nat in the comments and I will send you some information on how to get started. They are amazing. Um, all right. I do not see any more questions. I'm looking real quick. Can you make your own broth? Yes, you can. I don't have time for that. I actually am too lazy for that, but yes, you can make your own bone broth. Uh, you can Google how to do it. You'll see instructions out there. A, a lot of people do make their own bone broth, which is the best bone broth, right? You're making it at your house. It's true bone broth. <laughs> It's got all the collagen and all the good stuff you need. Um, thank you, Landy. Justin said, Justin, you may be wrong. You might just wanna get your Google out. Cause Landy said it is dolphin, but not the porpoise type like flipper. So we're not eating flipper, but we are eating dolphin. Thank you, Landy. He's probably gonna start Googling to see if he can put now, Alice says you're right and it's not a dolphin. So I don't know. Somebody needs to Google for me. I'm on the phone with you guys. I can't, I can't search for myself. You need to to your son. <laughs> Why drink you need ketones to to quickly? That's a great question, Angie. You're not, you know, dousing it down, uh, but you are drinking it within 30 minutes. Let me tell you why. Ketones are a ketone supplement or keto nat is a ketone supplement. So think of it this way. The ketone supplement is what gives you energy. So the supplement itself gives you appetite control, energy, focus, weight loss, or not weight loss, fat loss, better sleep, better mood, better joints. Um, keto Nat is a supplement. Think of it and compare it to like a Tylenol. If you, if you need energy, you wanna take the medicine, right? You wanna take the Keto Nat for energy. You wanna take it for appetite control. If you have a bad headache, you wanna take Tylenol, right? So think about that Tylenol. If you cut it into tiny little slivers and you take a little piece here and take a little piece there in two hours, take a little piece. That's the same thing if you're sipping on Keto Nat. You're not getting the full amount of ketones. So it'd be the same way as you're splitting up that Tylenol in a thousand slivers and licking it on the end of your tongue all day long. You're not gonna get the same effect. So that's why you wanna drink them uh, and you don't wanna sip on them, you wanna drink them down. So a good 30 minutes, you can drink them a little longer than that if you want to, but just don't sip on it all day. So we've got some more information. Kay says, the dolphin fish is also often called mahi-mahi and not all related to the marine mammal dolphins. This colorful, distinct fish has a long body and a blunt face with a fort, some kind of oh, a tail. It's got a fort tail and a dorsal fin that runs the length of its body. From 2017, thank you. All right, I'm sure Justin's still doing his own search. He's gonna give me a heck after this is over. Lin Linda lost 47 pounds. <laughs> Uh, all right, Kay used oil seasoned with nature seasoning and fresh garlic, made butter, lemon sauce, pan seared. I made a butter lemon sauce last night for the trout and it was really, really good. Um, all right, I'm looking to see if there's any more questions. Thank you, I love my Yorkies too. 
I just answered the question about drinking the net in 30 minutes. Um, Amy has Crohn's. Would I recommend the keto diet? 100% Amy, because Crohn's uh, is about inflammation. So if you drink, or not drink, I'm sorry, if you follow a low carb diet, inflammation leaves your body. So 100% I recommend Crohn's, I'm um, not Crohn's, I recommend low carb or keto diet for most people. Uh, now, if you have active Crohn's uh, situations and you're being treated, of course, talk to your doctor. Don't change anything without talking to your doctor. And if you trust your doctor, then go back and talk to your doctor anyway and tell them about clean keto. Not eating bacon and cheese all day long. Clean keto, lean meats, good veggies cooked in healthy fats. That is healthy, clean keto. And I don't see why any doctor would tell you that that's not good. I don't understand why any doctor would tell you, oh no, eat all the sugar you want, it's good for you. Uh, sugar causes disease, sugar causes cancer, uh, sugar causes inflammation, sugar causes us to die. <laughs> so seriously though, um, keto is great. <laughs> Justin's laughing at me now. Uh, good analogy if the keto, uh, if the keto and t okay oh okay I got you Lindy it's not spell check messed you up but it is a good analogy uh, if you add fiber powder to keto nat will it dissolve completely I'm not 100% because I don't add anything to my keto nat except electrolytes uh, and you don't even have to add that I just do uh, do you avoid potatoes at all cost or once in a while Jane for me I avoid them I don't want to eat potatoes. I don't ever crave potatoes. I love the food I cook. I love keto. Uh, I don't want to feel bad. My husband is low carb and he'll eat potatoes on our date night. So when we go out to the restaurant, he always orders a potato. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having one on occasion. Uh, my, my aunt is keto, but she has one every once in a while when they go out to eat. Nothing wrong with it. As long as you don't create habits again, where you're craving or wanting carbs all the time, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, da -da -da -da. Do you have any drinks? Do any of the drinks have collagen? Our Keto Cream, which is our fat coffee blend, has collagen. Um, I don't use it. I use Keto Nat every day. That's the only supplement I use. It's the only vitamin I use. I don't, I don't take anything else. Uh, Alice says she loves clean keto, and I love how I feel. Just wish I could lose weight. Oh, Alice, well, how long have you been keto? I'm just curious, and if you'd like some simple getting started information, if you haven't, if you've been doing it just recently, I'd love to send you some. Um, and keto nat is amazing too. Um, da -da -da. All right, guys, I think I made it all the way through the comments. My timer is fixing to go off. Let me check that timer real quick show me the timer. I need to start cleaning up this kitchen. I only have 57 seconds left. So let's go outside, look and actually see what that uh, fish looks like. <laughs> We're gonna call it fish. We're gonna go see what this fish looks like on, like on the grill. So I set my timer for 15 minutes and we'll see. I may have, oh, I forgot to get a fork. I gotta get a fork so I know if it's done. Hopefully uh, my phone will keep up with us. Sometimes it, uh, goes off when I go outside. So we're gonna see if it flakes with the fork and it will be good and I know Justin's ready to eat. And I feel kind of bad because I told him I wasn't gonna be on the phone long and you guys get me so interested in these conversations. I just love my friends and I love my son too. You know, he's gonna be here for a little while so he can wait on me a minute. <laughs> um, I see that Barbara, I will send you some. Do you use MCT 